just been into the doctor. What was it like? Uh, it was good. Very professional, easy going. This is a bonus. Skin checks. So. Yep. And uh, how'd you fare? Yeah, good. All, All clear. Good. All clear. All clear. This initiative, having this on, on site, what's it, what's it like? You're a paramedic here. What's that? Uh... Um, it's really good, actually. I found, I found it very valuable personally, and I imagine all the workers on site would have found it very valuable as well. I did find that for a lot of these guys, it gave them a much like better opportunity to seek this kind of stuff, because obviously it's harder to get into a GP nowadays. Um, so it's much more convenient when it's all organised by work, and they don't have to stress about getting organised and about work and stuff like that. Uh, really good, to be honest. Um, just from my experience, it was fantastic. I got some good advice. So. This is a um, uh, preventative health screen. So this uh, basically fits hand in glove with the occupational health screens, which we are doing in, uh, in different sites. Um, the occupational health screens obviously are mandated. These are discretional. The way in which people look after themselves, it's not a lot different than looking after equipment in a mine site, looking after a car. I mean, we don't ignore warning lights on a dashboard. We use clean fuels, exactly the same. So what we're trying to do with these is we're trying to give people a very comprehensive overview of their health. With a dashboard, we are getting the impression that people value this. Um, it often takes a year or two for people to feel comfortable and particularly for people to understand that um, this is between them and us. Um, it's fully confidential. One of these engagements I would achieve more, not myself, but just you know, getting to people early, doing it as a group, uh, giving people information. I think in real terms, you achieve more than I could in years of general practice, you know, seeing people one-on-one. Um, uh, -on -one. Men, for instance, who never see doctors or might see doctors just for incidental stuff, when they've got to, they will talk to each other and sometimes they'll start competing with each other for health so that they will be, you know, they'll be better, they'll have more green traffic lights next time around. We are very much social beings, you know, we're not islands, we're social beings and our behaviour, I mean socialisation, that impacts cigarette smoking, alcohol consumption, but it, it can only take sometimes one or two people just to slightly change their behaviour and people start reflecting on their own behaviour. The reality is yes, it will be a big difference, quality of life lasts 20 years, yes you might live a little bit longer, but the most important thing in our busy world is it impacts people on a day to day basis. Just tweaking the physical things, you know, improving nutrition, getting better sleep, more exercise, that can change glass half empty to glass half full.